Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing. Now, behold, this that you see before you. This may very well have been, at the time of my purchase, the final box of Rise of the Duelist in all of Canada. Yeah, I had to do quite a bit of searching just to find this one, and I mean... Stores might have dug up other boxes since that time, I don't know. I haven't really looked into it, because in my search I found that many stores were selling these at a lot more than I had originally bought my other boxes. And this one was still reasonably priced, so I still picked it up. But yeah, if any others show up, um, they're probably going to be worth a pretty penny. So I think this is probably... Also, the final box of Rise of the Duelist that I'll ever open, unless I, I don't know, by some miracle, happen to come across another one. It's been a good time, though, I must say. Rise of the Duelist has treated me fairly well. Unfortunately, I did not find the uh, one card that I was originally looking for. But hey, maybe this box, maybe this will be the one. You never know. So, this sort of marks the end of an era. After all, there is a new box out now. Rise of the Duelist is not the modern set that it once was. Time marches on. And now there is something new. And actually, I'm not going to leave these inside the box. I'm just going to... there. I'm just going to do that. because it is much easier to open these this way. So, without any further ado, let's get to uh, opening these packs. So this is, what, my fourth time opening Rise of the Duelist? I think? Hua, Gaia, the Fierce Knight Origin. So, if you're interested in seeing, well, a bit more of an in-depth look at some of these cards, then maybe check out my other videos on Rise of the Duelist first, because uh, I'm going to be going through this pretty quickly. Ah, rampaging smash tank Rhino Saber. I'm probably not going to give a whole lot of attention to the common cards or the super rares. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? We've got a Melfi Caddy. Solid. A solid pull, gotta say. Uh, now, I mentioned that there's a new box of Yu-Gi-Oh! coming out. I think it's actually out as of quite, quite recently. I might get a box of that. Ooh, Info... In, Info Noble. Infer Noble Arms. Joyous. I don't know. There's nothing in it that I'm super interested in. Sure, there's some valuable secret rares. I wouldn't say no to opening a box. Oh, Linker Bell. Oh, what do we got? Ret Time Emitter. Reviver Emitter. But at the same time, I think I'm probably gonna take a bit of a break from opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I have opened well, almost exclusively Yu-Gi-Oh cards up until this point, and it's been a lot of fun, gotta say. Whoa, here we've got our first ultra rare, the old Ice Dragon's Prison. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, actually. Happy about that. Because, what, I opened one magic product, the, uh, the Zendikar collector box. Now, for somebody who plays exclusively magic, and does not play Yu-Gi-Oh! at all. Uh, we've got this here, a Gaia, Soldier Gaia. You'd think I'd open more magic, but that has not been the case. Though I do have at least one more magic box uh, currently on its way. Well, not yet. I've pre-ordered it. So we'll see. Oh, Redeemable Jar. There we go. I'm pretty sure every single Rise of the Duelist box has contained a Redeemable Jar. I've got quite a collection of them now. 
Oh, that's good. It just wouldn't feel quite the same if I didn't get at least one redeemable jar. Maybe I'll even get a second. Oh, here we've got the old Forbidden Droplet. So, um, oh boy, that's a good one. Yeah, well, I guess this box was, uh, was worthwhile, even if I don't get my triple tactics talent. Now, at the very least, I got a uh, Forbidden Droplet. Let's, uh, yeah, let's be careful with that one. And, of course, that's why Rise of the Duelist disappeared from store shelves, and why people are selling it for twice what it used to be worth. Because there's just... Well... Oh, here we go. Performapel. I shouldn't say there's so many valuable cards, because there's still only a few. But that's a few more than most sets have, <laughs> that's for sure. And there's so much value in them that, uh, yeah, it makes it a very good... Uh, oh, I missed it. Here we go. Nemesis Keystone. Almost makes it a decent investment just to buy these boxes and crack them open. So I understand why people are buying them. It just makes me a little sad because um, it stops me from buying them. Oh, hey, check this one out. It's uh, Win, the Wind Channeler. Did we? Did we get this one in a previous video? I don't... Hmm... I think we might have. I don't know. It's possible. So, uh, oh boy, which one of these was the, uh... Secret Rares? Rise of the Duelist, another one that you can sort of map. The Secret Rares are always directly beside each other in the box. Maybe I should have paid attention to that. Oh, here we've got the old Ancient Warriors. Good, good. Now, if this was a absolutely perfect box, go for that Starlight Rare. That would be a nice thing to have in the final box in all of Canada, wouldn't you say? DD Dog. I actually haven't even opened a Starlight Rare. How many boxes have I opened? It's got to be at least ten. Although, of course, uh, Starlight Rares are Starlight Rare. Yeah, they don't show up very often, do they? Oh, dropped it. This one. I dropped it. It's got to be the money pack. It is, it's heavy with value. Okay, what do we got? Thunderhand? No, no, it's uh, Magellanica, the Deep Sea City. Didn't get very many of those in all of my boxes. And I think it's actually not worth nothing. Maybe it's a trickier super rare to find. Okay, what do we got? Got this galloping guy, huh? But the, uh, hua! The rare is another Performa Pal. We've been getting a lot of doubles in this box. Will I get a double Forbidden Droplet? Will I open a playset of Forbidden Droplets before I get even one of the secret rare spell that I actually want? Linker Bell? Come on, Linker Bell. Show me the goods. What do we got? Uh, it is a Speedroid Car Turbo. Alright, alright. I think we got one of those before. I mean, I'm sure we've seen every card in the set by now. Maybe, maybe a secret rare or two we still haven't seen, but I think just about everything else. The first Dark Lord, which was also the first secret, secret rare, the first super rare that I ever opened, I believe, from Rise of the Duelist. Card that holds sentimental value to me now. Not really. Uh, well, we're probably getting pretty close to that, uh, that secret rare, huh? Hopefully there is more than one. Hwa! We've got Gaia the Magical Knight. Uh, is that all three iterations of Gaia we've opened now? Maybe. Okay, this pack. This pack here. It's the good one. I can feel it. And it contains... Hwa! <laughs> Ad Emancipator Friends. Ah, uh, 
I was wondering if I was gonna open this one. It is the uh, the least valuable of the secret rares, I think. Uh, oh well. Still no triple tactics talent. What a shame. But you know what? It was fun opening all these boxes. So I can't complain too much. Whoop, we've got this uh, Melfi puppy. And it's not like I'd actually use it. I don't need that card for a deck or anything. It would just sit in my collection. I just wanted one. And what do we got? We've, uh, oh, we missed it. Come on, come on. Qua. It is, oh, Blizzard, of course. Uh, well, we got one more pack. This is it. The last pack. I mean, it's not the last pack in all of Canada. There's certainly still single packs out there. It's the boxes that are nigh impossible to find. So, what is this one going to give us? Let's, uh, let's find out, eh? Okay. It's possibly an ultra rare, because I'm missing one. Maybe. Uh, it is a, an effect monster. Okay, okay. Um, uh, 1500, 1600? Uh, is it the Dogmatica girl? Nope, it is Lifeless Leaf Fish. <laughs> but, you know, it is an ultra rare, so at least I was right in that regard. All right, well, that's it. That's, uh, that's all I had prepared for today. Got a, yeah, let's get these in focus, there we go. Got a pile of uh, super rares here. Cards that we have seen time and time again now. And we've got a handful of ultra rares. Uh, well, actually, Ice, Ice Dragon's Prison's a pretty good, a pretty good one, I think. I don't think the other three are incredible pulls, but Ice Dragon's Prison, hey, you can't go wrong with that one. As far as Ultra Rare goes, anyway. And, of course, the, uh, the Secret Rares. We've got the old, uh, Friends here. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. What does it even do? Something about rock monsters, I guess. It's a long effect. I'm not gonna read it. But, of course, the, uh, Forbidden Droplet. This is the, this is the one that I probably would have wanted if I was, you know, actually uh, playing a deck that it would go in. That's a very solid pull. However, that is also the end of this video. Yeah, just a, just a short one today. So, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's any other card games or Yu-Gi-Oh sets or Pokemon or Magic, what have you that you'd like to see me open. And, um, well, I really hope that you'll join me again in whatever my next unboxing video might be. Well, actually, I know exactly what my next unboxing video will be. It'll be a good one, so be sure to check it out. Till then, ta-ta!